Michael Lee Chin just got richer. The billionaire sold his mega yacht for 362 million US dollars. That's 62 million in profit. I'm Khalilo Reynolds, financial journalist and educator based in Jamaica. I'm going to break this all down for you. And for those who don't know who Michael Lee Chin is, me want get a billion dollar like Mr. Lee Chin. Well, he's a Jamaican-Canadian billionaire and he's probably best known, at least here in Jamaica, for his part ownership of NCB, Jamaica's largest bank. He also has his hands in a lot of other business ventures across uh, the Caribbean and also there in Canada. And according to Forbes magazine, his network sits around 1.4 billion US dollars. So the man rich, rich. So rich that he bought a 337 foot super yacht for 300 million US dollars in 2020. It's called Apo and Asopo. I can't even pronounce it. And when I say Apo is a mega yacht, I mean mega. It has six decks. A helipad, you know, so you can land your own helicopter right on there. A nature-inspired spa, a beach club, and even an IMAX theater on board. 16 guests can stay on board in any of the eight guest rooms, but the real gem, reportedly, because I've never been on it, is the owner's private space that comes with its own gym and sky lounge deck. So Lee Chin actually commissioned this yacht back in 2017, and he reportedly specifically asked for it to be delivered on his mother's birthday. Apple actually means grandmother in Hakka Chinese, so there's some symbolism there. Now, the yacht was delivered in 2021 and it was a big deal here in Jamaica because it was the middle of COVID and some people were not happy about this mega yacht docking, docking in Portland for a number of reasons. They didn't appreciate what seemed to be this ostentatious show of wealth given everything that was happening because of the pandemic. And then NCB investors also weren't, weren't happy because they hadn't received dividend payments in a hot minute, but NCB owner could be here flashing his mega yacht. Plus, there were environmental concerns, and like I said, it was a big deal, but eventually, you know, the things kind of calmed down. Well, now Lee Chin has reportedly sold the yacht to professional hockey player turned billionaire businessman Patrick Dovici. Apple sold for a whopping 362 million US. That's 62 million more than Lee Chin paid to have it built in, what, three, four years? Now, I don't know much about the luxury yacht industry, but that seems like a lot. Well, interestingly, the yacht sale is the latest in a string of sales from the billionaire. Back in September, Lee Chin sold CVM Television to Verticast Media Group. He also sold Reggae Beach in St. Mary, a property that was reportedly worth 50 million US. He reportedly also put his mansion in Grand Cayman up for sale for 35 million US last month. And in February, he sold Medical Associates Hospital to Caribbean Health Systems undisclosed price. Now, there's a lot of speculation about what Michael Lee Chin is actually up to with all these sales. I saw one article saying that maybe he's hoarding cash because of a possible recession. Another one says he needs the money because he's not getting any dividend payments from NCB. But what I really wonder is, is he collecting cash for a major acquisition? Hmm. Well, what do you think? Click the link in my bio and tap newsletter to receive money news like this straight to your inbox. Let's get this leeching money.